Yo, what's going on everybody, man? It's your boy Pryoxis and I'm back with another video, man. And what I have here is some Sugar Shine O'Malley. But check this out. It is a one fight video. But it gets even sweeter. I'm fighting someone in rank using Pedro Munoz, okay? Pedro Munoz in rank. So it's going to be a very interesting match. They are actually fighting this weekend. And uh, let me ask you guys a question. Who you got? You got Sugar Sean O'Malley or you got Pedro Munoz, all right? Put it in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, all right? I am sorry for this video being shorter, by the way, but it is a goodie. I promise you that. Enjoy. All right, here we go. Who are going to get lore of Vikings 945? Here we go. I got a lot of points on the line here, man. Using the fighter that isn't really a top dog, but this guy went Pedro Munoz. So I love this. I actually love this. Here we go. Now, what we got to watch out is Pedro Munoz low kicks. I'm not sure if this guy's going to utilize them, but if he knows who I'm using, <laughs> he would know to use low kicks. But what we're going to be doing is playing the outside game, uh, using the outside strikes for now until I turn up. Nice. Until I turn up. Okay. Ooh, and that's gonna be cash money right there. What I uh, just I'm pretty sure we have a reach advantage in this fight. I don't know what their reaches are exactly, but you can see right now this guy's being you know very aggressive, and um, we're gonna try to use that against him. Boom! Oh, now he blocked it. As long as we cannot take much damage, right, and we get some body work in, this fight is gonna be cash. Okay, we got five rounds. We got five rounds. Oh, that dropped me. Okay, so right now he's not really throwing big. Like, he's not throwing big strikes. He's keeping it short, which is very smart for him. This is how he should be playing the fight. He's landing on me. He has some good accuracy. We just got to... Nice switch kick. Just got to keep being patient, man. My time is coming. My time is coming. Oh, my goodness. I thought I blocked it. Okay. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was almost right there. That was almost right there. Okay. Just keep being patient. Try to throw a front kick there. And while Sean O'Malley is good in this game, uh, the problem is... The problem is his health. See, right there, that's an opportunity. That's what I like to see. When he throws a combination and follows up with another one. Because that's what gets his stamina low. We check that kick. Hit him with a hook. And what this I hope this video teaches you guys is patience. Okay. Hit him with the knee. Uh-uh. We denied that. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I've taken a lot of damage this round. I've taken a lot of damage. My stamina isn't looking the best. But we'll see how we recover going into round two. <laughs> so he threw 102 but landed 53. So we had real good accuracy. So we're down right now 1-0. But that's okay. Look look at the... um, We got a real good boost on stamina. I mean, not stamina, but... uh, On our health. Look at our health stats. Boom, jab, rear hook. Caught him there. Push him back. Okay. Sooner or later, we're going to be able to catch him because you can notice how I'm conditioning him with this up-down type of strike pattern. Going high, then low. Going high, then low. And sooner or later, I'm going to go high and then high with another powerful strike. 
But we'll see. We will see. Or I can just get beat. Okay. Go up top double twice. Okay. Nice high kick. There you go. There we go. This is what I like from him though. This I like this this um <laughs> I don't know why he's shooting takedowns. I like the activity from him. It's gonna help gas him out. And uh Pedro Mu even in real life, Pedro Muñoz is a tough matchup for Sean O'Malley. Due to him being able to kick. Oh, I thought I, I thought I check. I mean, uh, block that. There we go. And look at my health stats. I'm getting hurt again. Again, Sean O'Malley is a fighter that doesn't have the greatest health stats. So, um, it's tough using him. It is very tough using him because a lot of guys in this division do a lot of damage. And that right there, I just won that trade 100%. Just want that trade 100%. And my time is coming. Like I said, my time is coming. I just have to be patient. I just have to be patient. I promise my time is coming. Let's go. Because I really feel like this guy's starting to gas out a little bit. He has been, uh, you know, very... Ooh, he's been very active. Okay. Try to catch him there with the double up top. Catch him with the lead hook. Oh. There we go. We catch the kick. We're going to just take him towards the cage. There we go. All right. We took a lot of damage in that round as well. We're going to take damage. All right, guys, just understand that. I'm going to check these stats, guys. Before I do check these stats, I'm going to run a quick ad. And if you get the ad, you get it. You don't, you don't. All right? So here you go. All right, so here we go. We go down. And you can see he did win this round as well. But I'm not really looking for this fight to go to decision. I think this is going to try to be one of those late, late round finishes here. Here we go. Okay. Our right, stamina still looks good just our health stats he just took a lot of damage right there I really feel like he's getting impatient like while he is landing I can see the striking is getting a little impatient from him so something we can look to take advantage of nice block there we go there we go attack the body there we go with the uppercut put him on the knee high kick i thought that would catch him boom he's gonna try to take me down i think 100 percent okay jab cross push him back with the front kick there we go but yeah using sean o'malley is not an easy task my people so, anybody that you see using Sean O'Malley, give them their respect. Especially if you're using top tiers within the division. I'm talking TJs, Deons, uh, even, what's his name? Oh, there's another one, Rob Font. I wouldn't say Rob Font's top tier anymore due to him getting nerfed. But he has he can pressure box with his cardio and his, uh, his speed. And overall, just boxing stats. Ooh, that was going to be bad. That was going to be bad for him. There we go. Roundhouse to the body. We're going to pressure him a little bit. There we go. I'm not going to rush anything because I'm, I'm too hurt to try to rush. Because if I do and I get counted, it's going to hurt bad. Boom. Catch with the flying knee. Cross. 
question mark kick. I told y'all the double up top was going to be it. We drop him. We get back up to the feet because he did, you know, block one of our hooks. So we're not going to be able to get the finish there. But like I said, my time is coming. I just have to be patient. And this is why I tell you guys, be patient in your matches because when you force things, that's how you open up to get counted. Imagine if I, if I force a finish against this guy, right? And he hits me with, uh, you know, a pool counter. It's over for me. I'm going to get either dropped or flash KO. So, that's why I'm being patient. I'm just waiting on my moment. Push him back. Okay. Let's see if we can catch a front kick at the end here. Nope. And that's going to be the end. That's going to be the end of the fight. I was going to say that's going to be the end of the round because I was just going to back up. But he made the mistake throwing a very, very risky high kick. And I call him as he, uh, at the end of it. I call him at the end of it, man. Well played. GG's, uh, GG's to this guy, man. GG's to him. Boom. Right hook. And, uh, that was all she wrote, basically. Shouts out to him for switching to, uh, Pedro Munoz for sure. Um, definitely give him his respect there for that pick and uh yeah but hey uh the lessons to be learned within this fight here was be patient and pick your shots and be careful because in the first round i took a lot of damage i took what 53 strikes that's a very high amount of strikes to take especially on a fighter like sean o'malley it's you know too risky very risky but we did get it done we got the win i can't complain um personally i don't want to use sean o'malley again in another fight <laughs> because um it's not about my rank points it's about the ranking that i am at and uh, all i'm going to do is play against players that just want to use the high tier fighters uh i mean obviously beside this guy and i mean what better way to cap off a video than to just have one fight versus pedro munoz so again shouts out to this guy here i believe it's gamer tag lore of viking 945 so shouts out to this guy um shout out to you guys too that made it this far into the video um really appreciate it love you guys man thank you for all the love and the support and y'all know the vibes man i'm gonna lead you guys off with this man stay up stay blessed and keep moving forward all right love you guys have a great rest of your day night or evening wherever you may be in the world all right love you guys man see ya